in the days we talking about the Central District. Now you hear more about the Central District from people who actually were born and raised there. But from what I researched, what I went to go get the documentation on um, was because they was dealing with a, a heavy gentrification. We call this cranes in the sky uh, uh, syndrome or GMO communities. And so um, uh, what happened was in the late 1800s, a lot of the white communities uh, outside of the central district begin uh, putting in their uh, neighborhood ordinances covenants between the different white homeowners not to sell their homes to black people, Asians, or Africans. And so what happened was the, 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 the city had to come in and redline the whole central district for just black people and black businesses. This was the only place that black people could go, own a home, and open up a business. Nowhere else in the city of Seattle. Nowhere but the central district. So this community was pre uh, predominantly uh, black people, black business, black homeowners, and of course you had your minority of Jews and Asians who lived amongst them, but it was predominantly organized, it was predominantly ran uh, uh, by black people. So what happened was, as the development, and, and see this is why I tell our people that we have to become more community conscious, not meaning knowing what they're doing, but also what they plan for the future. Because every city planning and development department has a 20 year plan that they're going to do 20 years from now and where they're going to begin developing, where they're gonna put up these particular buildings, where the next place they're going to do predatory development. This is, they already got their plan 20 years in advance. I already know because I have the plan so in my said, possession. You said predatory development. Predatory, predatory development. development. Predatory development is when you have a situation where a city allows developers to come in and prey on the people of that community to buy up the property and land so that they can develop on it and not include us in the development of that community. And sometimes they come in the form of telling you, they'll say, oh, uh, we want to build up your community, right? But the problem is, is that when it's done building, we not a part of it. See, that's called predatory development. You see what I'm saying? And it also results in displacement, gentrification, so on and so forth. But predatory development is the tactics used by the city allowing developers because what I said the solution was, especially uh, the, the, the uh, another issue is that there's a homeless issue in Seattle, also King County. Not even a year ago, the King County Executive Dow Constantine and uh, Ed Murray, who was uh, who is still presently uh, the mayor, declared a crisis in homelessness in King County and Seattle. The issue is, is that they still can't house nobody because the, the shortage of housing, you feel me? Now, how the city could have resolved this was that while you're still selling off our community to these pre uh, predatory developers, you should have allotted a certain amount of units to be developed for homeless people and low income residents. You see what I'm saying? Because what they did was they put cranes in the sky, started building these huge properties and the, and the rent was out of control because we have no rent control in Seattle. We still fighting that now to try to get uh, rent control and so with the rent being out of control they were able to build these developments and then pay uh, 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 charge these ex exorbitant prices for them to go up and live in those and the people who were a part of the community couldn't afford it so what they did was they started making the in the, the housing lower in South King County Renton where you are now uh, Tuckwilla uh, uh, Kent Federal Way Fife Auburn, Covington, and that's where all of the black people from the Central District started moving into the South King County. Now the problem with this issue is, while you're still pushing us out in South King County, you're also not placing resources there. Because when I worked in social services, I had to have my clients come all the way from Federal Way to get sort resources in Seattle. Because there was no resources out there where you done pushed everybody. You feel what I'm saying? And so now, that's what's happening in Seattle. 
And so Renton is one of those places and Skyway is one of those places where black people had to move out of the community that was initially redlined. You understand? And the banks would not loan uh, uh, business owners or homeowners the money that would have took for them to upkeep with the property taxes and also what was necessary for them to do renovations on their homes to keep up with those property values. So it, it, once that happens, the property value plummets and the, and the development come in and they buy up your property cheap pennies on a dollar and then they come in and develop and all of a sudden the property value raises again and a home that could have been worth a million dollars owned by a, a, a home a home that would could have been worth a million dollars owned by a black person in this time is now owned by either an Asian or a white person and just 30 years ago your grandmother used to stay in the same house you see what I'm saying? And so uh, this is an issue in Seattle. This is a very big issue right now, right now as we speak, not just police brutality, but also um, uh, no rent control, gentrification, displacement, predatory development, non-inclusiveness in, in, in their developmental uh, 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 priorities. You know, because we're not against white people moving into the central district. That's not the issue. The issue is you're saying you're developing our community, but you're not including us. We're not a part of that development. You see what I'm saying? So we don't mind you coming in and building up our community because they attempted to use that in the media to say that we were against building our own community. Who in the world wouldn't want their house to be clean? Who in the world wouldn't want their house to be built up? Everybody wants their house to be built up. I just want to live there when you're done. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's the issue that we have with the policies inside of the city of Seattle and how they're doing it. If Mega did this.